If you boys are looking to pick up some FIFA 16 coins, head on over to Golda.com and use DRG for a discount. If you're looking to pick up some cheap MSP, PSN codes or cheap games, head on over to G2A.com. All links down below. What's going on boys and welcome to a brand new episode of Career Mode. Now before I jump into it, you will know that I have teamed up with Fatal Grips where you can buy all your accessories for your PS, for your PlayStation and for your Xbox. There is a link down in the description below if you want to go check them out. Now the main reason I'm telling you is because we will be doing weekly giveaways. I'm most likely going to do them on Saturdays so you can know exactly when the giveaway is going to take place. So, jumping back into this career mode, we have got off to a pretty decent start to the season. We've got Lacazette in, we've got Odegaard in on loan from Real Madrid. Neither of those have played yet. Lacazette is still slightly carrying an injury, but he's, he's near full fitness, so we might use him for the bench in the next game against Southampton, where we're up against next. And I think that's it. We're all up to date. The transfer window is still open, so we may dabble in to maybe looking for a centre-back. I'm thinking the likes of Varane. Uh, Butland is still considering my contract offer, but I, I do think that should be wrapped up very shortly. So we've got a cracking young goalkeeper who I would like to ease into the team with Adrian ageing slightly. It would be good to bring in a young goalkeeper, and he's got tons of of potential so we're going to jump into the next game boys hopefully pick up a win and hopefully push towards the title this season right boys so this is the team i am going to go with lacazette is not quite fully fit but he's he's able to come on from the bench we're going to stick with markovic outright because royce has picked up a slight injury as well so jordan i can play from the left we've got coutinho henderson tielmans who i want to really bring into the team this season because his progression has been absolutely insane so we really need to keep playing him to keep that progression going. We've got Moreno, Sacco, Skirtle, Klein and Adrian for the moment. Then we'll make a decision once Butland signs that dotted line. So let's just jump into this game, boys. Hopefully pick up the win, as I say. And I think we're going to have an exciting season. Right, boys, here we go. It's game time. Come on, let's do this. High intensity pressure. Come on. There we go. Markovic finally breaks them down. Markovic has had a cracking start to the season. Look at this break on. Oh, come on, Jordan. Oh, Jordan Ibe. Oh, what a decent effort. He went for more of accuracy than power, and it wasn't a bad shot. Oh, no. Oh, Jordan Ibe tracking back really well, though. That's fantastic play. Oh, this is nice. Oh, has he stayed on? Coutinho's onside. Yes, he sticks it away, Coutinho. Picking up where he left off last season. What a great goal. I thought he was offside, but it must have been close. Oh, that's tight. But what a finish by the little magician himself. Right into that side netting. Come on. Moreno will have a crack. Oh, my days. <laughs> what a bloody strike that is. Holy Christ, we've got goal of the season contender already, boys. Look at this. Oh, my... You don't save them. You do not save those. That is up there with one of the best goals I've scored. Oh, my word. We'll watch it over and over again. Pick it out. Force him into it. Oh, that's daft. You can't give it to Coutinho around that area. Oh, it's a weak finish. Oh, not up right on half time. Oh, what a save, Adrian. He's saved the, the day there. I thought we were screwed. That would have been bad going right into half time. But he's pulled off a cracking save. He knows he's got a competition coming in, boys. Blow that whistle, ref. There we go. It's half time, boys. And we have had a potential goal of the season. What a strike by Moreno. Right, boys, so we are 2 0 up. We can make some changes. Lacazette is going to make his debut. We're going to give Odegaard a shot as well. We'll play him in behind Lacazette. And also, Firmino can come on for Markovic. So let's see how this goes. But it can't, that was a perfect first half. Here they come, boys. Two debutants with Odegaard and Lacazette. Let's do this. Here he is, his first touch. This could be an interesting one, boys, because if he has a cracking season, I don't know whether they'll sell him to us or not, or whether he'll just have to go back a better player than he was. Oh, I thought he was in then. 
Oh, good lad, Odegaard. That's beautiful. Oh, no, surely not. Oh, <laughs> I told you, he's going to be an exciting one, lads. Again, he's, he's done him again. Oh, boys, I'm so excited over Odegaard. It's unbelievable. There we go. There, there's the ball. It's Lacazette. Oh, my God. I've just made a right ball to that. I thought the keeper was coming. What a ball by Odegaard again. He's looking so comfortable. Nice. Jordan Ibe is causing all sorts of trouble. Oh, the pace. He's done him. Oh, Jordan, please. Oh, fantastic play. Great play. Odegaard again. Can you find him? What a ball for Lacazette. Come on. Yes. What a start for Lacazette. And for Odegaard. It's an assist. And it's a goal. What a perfect start to their careers. It's a 90th minute goal. It's a perfect start to the Liverpool careers, boys. Odegaard has had a cracking game. Lacazette has just stuck that home beautifully. But what a ball in by Odegaard. There's the full-time whistle. That could not have gone any better. Right, boys, so after that game, Butland has declined the offer. He wants to know his role at the club. So, I wonder will he come in for squad rotation? He's only 23. He's got to understand. So, we'll try squad rotation and see if he accept that. He is a player I want to use, but I don't want to completely... Take Adrian out of the team. I'll give him an extra 5k as well. Um, yeah, let's go with that and see does he accept. Right, boys. So, up next, we have got the Champions League uh, playoff round. It, we, it should be a straightforward match. We're playing against Aberdeen. But you've seen me struggle against smaller teams before. So, this would be an absolutely shocking upset if we don't manage to win this. So, let's jump into it. We're going to play a pretty decent, strong team because... Let's just get into the Champions League first and not make any silly mistakes. Right, boys, so this is the team we're going with. We're going to play Lalana out on the left. Markovic, Balotelli keep their place in the team. Luis Alberto comes in instead of Coutinho and Chan replaces Henderson. We're also going to play Ilori in his first game at centre-back instead of Martin Skirtle. So, as I say, it's still a strong team, but we're giving some of the other players a chance as well because it's really a game we should win quite easily. Right, boys, here we go. It's a massive game. It's still the Champions League. It might be only be a qualifier, but let's not mess this up. Oh, what a nightmare. And what a waste it would have been from all that work last season. Here we go. Come on, Klein. We've got bodies forward here. We've got the pace of Markovic in behind. Come on! Oh, this is a chance. He's weaving. There we go. He's done it. That's in. Oh, <laughs> we do need to get this early goal, boys, or the pressure is going to build on all the players. Oh, I'm getting nervous, boys. They found a way in behind. Oh, no. Oh, what a tackle, Markovic. Yeah, this is good. This is really good. He's onside. Come on, Balotelli. Oh, if there's anyone that's got the composure to finish, it's Balotelli. Come on. Yes! Oh, that's the early goal we needed, boys. It's Mario Balotelli again. Oh, the relief. Go on, keeper. Good lad. Where's your touch? Come on, Mario. Oh, it's great. We've caught him on the counter-attack. Surely. Come on, where's the sweat? Where's that sweat? Yes! Yes, it's Luis Alberto on his first game of the season. Come on. Good lad. Great work by Mario Balotelli. We always have to look for the sweat there. That should seal the game. It's a decent finish as well on the stretch. Oh, that's a good ball. Oh, that good lad, Elori. Great challenge. That's a good ball, though. Well dealt with. A little bit dangerous. Oh, the counter-attack is killing him here, boys. Alberto's on the run again. What a ball. Oh, my days. Surely not. Alberto for his second in the game. He's missed it. But it's cracking play on the counter-attack. And that's half time, boys. What a half again. We've managed to score two goals in the first half again. It's been some cracking stuff. 
And again, we have the luxury of making changes and resting a few players. The likes of Origi could come on for Balotelli to rest him. Lacazette, we're not going to risk him. We don't really need to. We can bring on Zuma for Sacco. Odegaard again, there's no point in risking him. But we can bring on Firmino for... I think we'll play out for Markovic. Markovic has worked his ass off at the start of this season. And he's really looking like a decent player. Here we go, second half. I really feel like I've got to grips with career mode, finally. It's such different gameplay than playing offline. But once you get used to it, it's a hell of a lot of fun. And I think we're in for a cracking season. That ball's on for Lallana. It's a cracking ball by Alberto again. Oh, whip it. There it is. Oh, what a header. I think it was Origi. It's a cracking save as well. Oh, that's a good ball. How has he saved that? Freaking hell, what a corner by Alberto. And they're on the counter-attack themselves right now. Oh, they've gone for a sneaky one. It might be a silly one. Oh, Rigi's just played it straight back. The pressure's coming back on us. If we can win that ball up, we have got them right up Shit's Creek. Oh, they're playing amazing at the minute. What a ball that is. Oh, my days. Where is this play come from? They absolutely deserve that goal, but what the hell is going on second half? Oh, the keeper's made a right sack of that, Emre Chan. Yes! Oh, it's an absolute gift by the goalkeeper, but what a strike by Emre Chan. He had a hell of a lot of work to do, and he stuck that away brilliantly. Probably undeserved the way that second half has gone, but if you make a mistake... And we capitalise, you've already got yourselves to blame. What a finish that is. Oh, for me not, surely. There it is, they've thrown everything at us. Come on, Origi, don't mess this up, mate. There you go, that's it, it's all over. The tie is finished, 4-1, and Origi scores his first goal of the season as well. Every player that's been put in the team has taken their opportunities. Firmino with the assist. Origi with a great finish. Emre Chan comes into the team, scores a goal. Lacazette has scored. Odegaard's have got an assist all on the first games of the season. It's really good to see. I've told you, this is going to be a stunning season if we keep playing like this. Almost there, boys. No, no. Oh, some decent play then. You've got to give credit to Aberdeen. They've not stopped. They threw everything at us. That's what gave us the space. Come on. There we go. It's all over. It's all over. 4-1 is a cracking result. But let's not get too carried away. It was only Aberdeen. They did throw everything forward, which gave us so much space at the backs. But it's a win nonetheless. Right, boys. There we go. We have sealed the deal for Jack Butland, who has now joined the club on a three-year contract. I think that's a cracking signing. 23 years of age and he's a decent, decent goalkeeper. So definitely one for the future. We want to ease him in this season as well, as I say, with Adrian aging a little bit. So if we just summarise what's happened in that episode, we have played two games, as you can see at the bottom right-hand side of the screen. We are top of the table with six points. We also played our first uh, leg of the Champions League qualifier, which we won 4 1 against Aberdeen. So that that whole game should be sealed. We, there's no way we're losing that. We can play some of the younger lads in the second leg of that. Up next, we have got Manchester United, which you can stay tuned for in the following episode. We'll just check out what's going on in the office. I don't think it's anything too serious. Uh, Marco Royce had returned from training, so pretty much we have a full strength squad. And it's a damn decent looking squad as well. So that concludes this episode, boys. Absolutely perfect episode. We're pretty much in to the Champions League after beating Aberdeen 4-1. We're top of the table. We've got Lacazette in, who's had a cracking start to his career, coming off the bench to score. Odegaard come, came off the bench to score. Or to get an assist. Alberto got a goal. Did he Alberto score? He did score. Balotelli has continued to score. It's all looking very positive, but we all know how quick that can change. But come join me in the next episode to see how things progress. Smash those likes, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you next time. Cheerio.